the Levain cookie? Levain? Levan? Levan? I don't know what it does, so don't ask me. Oops. Mm. Did you hear that crunch? I need to share it with that crunch. Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to bake a cookie today. Now, just not any cookie. It is probably the best cookie. Um, I love the cookie that is soft on the inside and crispy on the outside, you know, the doughy kind of thing. I just love cookies. I'm like a cookie monster. I can eat cookies any time of the day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, anytime, literally. So that's what we're going to make. This cookie is called the Levain cookie. Levain? Levan? Levan? Yeah, I think that's more like it. It's a Levan cookie. Um, I will show you the ingredients that we need. I've got my stand mixer right there and I will show you the ingredients that we need and let's get going with it. Here are the ingredients that you need. They're rather basic ingredients that you can get from any regular grocery store. So first of all, you need butter and you need chocolate. Um, the recipe calls for dark chocolate only and probably white chocolate as well, but I wanted to mix it up. I've got white chocolate, dark chocolate, and here's a mat. Let's just see how that goes. And um, you need salt, light brown sugar, caster sugar. The recipe again called for golden caster sugar. I didn't have any, so I'm just going to use white caster sugar. Um, bicarbonate soda, two eggs, self rising flour, corn flour, and plain flour. That's about it. I will include the details and the quantity of each one in the description box down below. First of all, we need butter, it has to be cold butter, 225 grams of this. Usually butter should have a measurement by the side, so the easier it does, otherwise we're going to have to measure it as we go. No, it doesn't have a measurement, so I'm just going to cube everything and dump it in. Two hundred grams of brown sugar and hundred grams of white sugar. Now, make sure you've got your dough hook on. I've not done this before. I really hope this doesn't break on me. And turn it on. This is probably the best I'm going to get out of this now. Um, well, once it starts looking like this, it doesn't have to be perfect though, but once it starts looking like this, we can then crack the egg in. This is a bit of a risk, but I don't want to wash up so much, so I'm just going to crack it in directly into this. I want to take out another bowl to gather it. I always tend to gather, um, tend to drop eggshells into whatever I'm cracking it into. And then I need to scoop it out. Okay, that was a good one. So that's one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, one teaspoon of corn flour, probably a bit too much. That's fine. I don't know what it does, so don't ask me. I just know the recipe calls for it. And a bit of salt. That's probably enough. And flour, plain flour. Now, this is 180 grams of plain flour. Oh. Oops. It's okay. I will take probably 170 grams of self rising flour instead of 180. Oh damn it. 190 plus 170. What am I looking at? 360. Okay. 360. Okay. That's about it. And 
started off on a low speed. Oh Lord, let this work, please. Once it starts looking like this, we will need to add our chocolates in. So you just need to roughly chop your chocolates and dump it in. And just roughly chop it into pieces. Once you've filled all of the chopped chocolates in, you just need to put it back on and mix it. You just need to try and incorporate it a little bit. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go in fully because we need to get our hands in and mix everything up. I've got two trays here. These are just the regular flat trays and it's lined with parchment paper. So we're going to get in, make sure you wash your hands, you have clean hands. I'm taking off my ring so I don't get cookies stuck in there and Go right in, mix it up a little bit. This is meant to be a super huge cookie, so we're going to try and estimate it, roll it into a big bowl. Um, you don't have to, you know, make it really even or anything. Just roll it up um, and don't press it in too much. Feels like there's a bit too much chocolate in there. Certainly, one ever. That's all the cookie dough done. So, I've got two trays of this. I've got 10 um, cookies basically, and we now need to freeze this. I am going to try and find some space in my freezer and stuff it in. You need to freeze it for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm going to leave it in for 40 minutes, see if that's enough, and then probably leave it for another 5 minutes extra. You don't need to preheat your oven for this, so just put it in the freezer, take it out and straight into the oven because it only needs to be in there for a very short one. It's finally been 40 minutes and I've taken my cookies out from the freezer now, the cookie dough that is. Um, it is quite solid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out between two different trays or possibly even three because you need to give it a lot of space and room to melt and spread. Um, in the heat, it's going to spread up a little bit. I think I could do maybe three in this and two in the smaller tray. As far as I can see, I think that's enough. Hopefully it doesn't all come stick to each other. There you go, I've got two here and three over here. So we're going to put this in the oven for 180 degrees um, for about 12 minutes. I'm going to give it 12 minutes, see how it goes and probably increase another one or two minutes after that. I am at loss for words. I don't know what to say about this. Can you see this? I'm trying not to tilt it, but can you see this? It is huge. It's probably as big as my face. Now I understand why they want a golden house of sugar and probably dark. Um, dark brown sugar as opposed to light brown sugar. The colour is, is slightly light, 
So you need to let this sit. I ended up increasing one minute, so I put it 180 degrees for 13 minutes. You need to let it sit on the tray for about 20 minutes so it still continues to cook on the inside. I'm so tempted to touch it and to eat it. It smells so good. Um, let it stay for 20 minutes. I'm going to put my second tray of um, cookie dough in the oven. I'm probably going to do that for another 30 minutes again and space it out. I didn't leave enough space for this one so it's a bit too close. I'm going to try and space it out a lot more and then I'll come back once everything is ready. But so good. It's so good. I have been waiting for this moment for such a long time now. I think about two weeks I've been dreaming about this cookie. I finally get to try my own cookie that I've baked at home. The Levin, Levan, Levan, the Levan cookie. And I'm going to do a taste test and let you know how it is. First and foremost, this is not even the biggest one. It's already broken halfway, but it's... I won't say it's as big as my head, but um, almost there, we're getting there. Super huge, really nice. I can see that it's crispy on the outside and it's really soft on the inside and it's broken already. Um, very, very soft in the middle. Oh my goodness, look at that, it's falling apart. Look at that, I've never seen anything as soft as this. Wow. Mm. Did you hear that crunch? Did you actually hear it? It's so good. I've got chocolate melting all over me. I've got 10 pieces of cookies with all of the ingredients and the measurement that I did today. So if I have one for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner, I will have, um, I'll have it for three days. I have one for now. Oh no, I need to share it with Lakshman. I'll probably sneak some in, but it is so good. It's 10 o'clock at night and I'm having a cookie at 10 at night. It's gonna be a very long night tonight for sure. This recipe is amazing, it's so good. I think the next time if I do it, I'm gonna leave it for another extra minute, 180 degrees, 14 minutes, and they'll be fine leave a lot more space between two, three doors so that, um, you know, it has room to grow, to spread and everything like that. Um, one more thing, which I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you count calories, so if you're dieting, you either forget your calories in your diet for the day or forget about the cookies, but you wouldn't want to miss out on this for sure. These are fat bombs, literally. There's I saw it somewhere, there's probably about 500 something calories in each one of these cookies. Um, it's buttery, melty, too much sugar, too much chocolate. Who's complaining? I love it though. I really, really hope you give it a go. If you do try this, let me know how it went for you. Let me know if you liked it. I don't care that it's actually really, really soft in the center. I will scrape it off the board if I need it to. I love cookies and that's it for me. So give it a go. Let me know if you liked it. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And don't forget to like and subscribe this page if you liked it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.